Technological advancement, including the internet, has brought in its wake several challenges, among them cyber violence against children. To protect Ghanaian children, the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection and UNICEF have met civil society groups and traditional rulers to ensure that Ghanaian children are shielded from all forms of violence. Every child has the right to live and thrive in a safe and caring family environment free from all forms of violence. Unfortunately for most of children, abuse, neglect, exploitation and violence takes place on a daily basis at home, school, institutions and the community. To strengthen the Ghana Child Protection System, the Government of Ghana and UNICEF initiated a comprehensive process aimed at addressing shortcomings in the existing system identified during a 2010 mapping and analysis of the Ghana Child Protection System. At the fourth National Gender Dialogue on Emerging Child Protection Issues in Ghana, the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, Nana Oyelitha, said, violence against children in all forms is detrimental not only to the development of the child, but also has negative effects on the nation. She called for stringent measures to fight all forms of violence against children, especially cyber violence. Cyber crimes against children can take various forms. Cyber bullying, child pornography, online sexual exploitation, and a network for child sex tourism and trafficking, among others. The internet can become a space for education, development, and empowerment for children. But when it is not regulated, it becomes a space for violence. So when it's not regulated, it can create a space with very undesirable consequences. A child representative, Eugene Odoi, was concerned about the impunity with which some people who abuse children manage to escape from facing the full rigors of the law. He urged victims of violence to overcome their fear and report such incidences to the right authorities. For a country where there is increasing acceptance of what constitutes children's rights, it is unacceptable that we continue to hear about cases of abuse on a regular basis. As if that is not enough, some even do it with impunity and brag about how the law cannot take them on. The sad part is, some Ghanaian children who are trapped in very unfortunate circumstances do not even know where to report to because fear is instilled in them and they become so timid. The were solidarity messages from the African Development Bank and UNICEF partners in child protection issues. <laughs> 